day, work day two. Let's just hope it uh, gets easier from here so uh, we don't fight the internet. We need to clean this place up a little bit. Gail has really turned this into an office. All right. And this one's car alarm to wake everybody the cab grabbed up. Now that's funny. We are working on putting some order together for the video sequence and realized we needed to print something out. So I never showed you this, but here's the entertainment center and up here we put a printer. Now we just got it running. It was just set up there. And uh, now we are ready to print. And when we're done, well, good morning. It's breakfast time. I've been inside working away. Keith's been out in his outside desk, but now he's moving to his outside kitchen, getting everything going. What are you making me, Keith? Well, come on over. <laughs> I broke up some meatless sausage, and I added some eggs, then I'm gonna add some cheese. Now this over here, I'm using a burner on a relatively easy burner system. This is real simple. It's so made by propane. GMU. Yeah. And it's just so simple to use and buy. it's real small. Over here I'm using electric. <laughs> so I have both options depending on what I've got and what I don't have where I'm at. I'm using both of them right now. I'm making the tortillas for the breakfast burritos over there. Yum, yum. I gotta get some cheese in here pretty quick. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Sun is out. The girl's out laying out in the sun. Say good morning. Are you loving your new camping life? I think you are. Yeah, we're still working on the barking of the other dogs going by, but it's gonna be gorgeous today. Another 90 day. 90 day, another 90 degree day. Okay, so Keith is ready to serve us. It's Breakfast the, it's, is served. It's actually on part shade part. I just wanted to show you Star's little food. So we did it before we left um, and just froze it in little Glad bags. So when you're traveling with a dog, if you want to make them fresh chicken and vegetables and some dry dog food, so she's eating gourmet along with us. And um, good job, Keith. We're hungry, so we're gonna eat. <laughs> she's been. Okay, we are off to Rainbow Pools, and we're told it's 11 miles up and down some hills. We've never done that many hills. We're gonna see how far we make it. It'll be adventure. If we get there, it'll be waterfalls, and we can dip in that cool, refreshing pool and see if we don't die on the way there. <laughs> and we're leaving the girl and the kid on the star. We're leaving the girl. She's already upset. I feel really bad. But <laughs> Bye, baby. That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we just came up a big hill on our way to Rainbow Pools. Beautiful scenery. We're about three quarters there. And uh, I forgot the bike charger is an emergency backup. And these have been hills. And uh, we're a little concerned if we're gonna have enough juice to make it home. <laughs> what do you think about that? And Keith wants my bike because I don't take as many batteries and juices. <laughs> That's because she's only half my size. So we got triple A. Well, I think it's because it's white, it's lighter. Well they pick us up with triple A. Well, we're gonna find out maybe. <laughs> I'm get it's a beautiful ride up here. Cut my left finger, it's a of blood. So 
but if this is the worst thing that happens, we're okay. But lessons learned, it's right. I'm going to keep my music on as I'm down the country road in my weather in Yosemite. But we made it. It's very mobile because I'm hot and sweaty. The good news is I got four bars. You can see that. Four bars left means I might be able to make it home. This is what we're headed down to right here. Looks like fun. We made it. We made it to the pool. It is time to get in the water and have some fun. This guy's gonna jump. Here we go. This is the way to play after work. Right, Gil? So this is up the river, pretty area. And this is where they're jumping off, right here. On the way home from the waterfalls, we stopped by Lucky Buck Cafe. Our neighbors uh, kept an eye on our dog, um, Rox, or Roxy. Our neighbors kept an eye on Star for us because we were worried about her. But the big challenge is, and lessons learned, we did not bring a battery charger. It's supposed to go 50 miles. We went about 25 miles round trip. But because of Mr. Harris and his weight, which we'll be working off soon, he uses, just like he does scuba diving, he uses triple the air, triple the battery, anyone else does. So he ends up on my bike. I end up on his bike, which we have different angles of our seat, so that's always a joy. But um, other than my one little fupa of running off the road into a sign and almost getting smashed by a truck, we stopped at a little diner on the way home, had a little snack and some iced tea, which is wonderful. Talked to the local waitress in town, and we're home, and now we get to relax, take a shower, and yahoo. So we did our first big, big bike ride. I'd say, was it 25 miles? About that. Tell them about it blinking on going uphill blinking on one battery cell and you panicking yeah uh, freaking out I was so mad at him because we were going to walk and I had water shoes on I took them off but water shoes on I didn't have walking shoes and these hills are super 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 steep and then really 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 downhill up and down up and down so I was being a little pissy which I had every right to be I had no water I had no crack shoes he didn't bring the battery charger tell him about Star being home Already dead. Star was oh. here by herself. There's Star over there. Yes, our neighbors watched her for us. They're going to take her for a walk. She again. watched her, but not over there. She watched them inside the yeah. motor home. But yeah, we're alive. The bikes are fine. We're fine. The dog's fine. I earned a cocktail after that. <laughs> All right, Wednesday. The family is rising. A little late today. 6.52 on Wednesday. All right. See what today brings us. Day three of work. Okay. 
the one-handed typer. Now what? Working at 80% capacity. First week. Have a small failure. I crash. Oh no, we're down to eight fingers. No. Let's see, six fingers and two thumbs. I'm gonna be filled with bruises everywhere. Go away. We need some diary room. Is this working out? Diary room coming soon. All right, successfully used the knife without cutting off my finger. It is doable. And these are our beautiful sandwich. Is beautiful sandwiches we're having for lunch. Those are fresh tomatoes we picked up along the way. Yum yum. Can't wait to eat them. I wanted to go for a walk. Night Star, get some green grass. Here's some other camping options they have here. They put up these urets and uh, they rent these out. Wonder what they look like inside. If one was open, I'd take you for a tour, but I can't. Uh, what's that, Gil? Uh, let's go check them out. They rent these out too? So we're at the little petting zoo. We got two little burrows. And we got a crazy old looking alpaca over there. He looks like he had a rough night. He went out to the alpaca bar. <laughs> he got his groove on or something. He was looking a little rough for wear. There's another little one down here. What do you think, Star? Mm -hmm. You like those little critters? Mm -hmm. And there's oh, the other guys here in the shade. I'm doing a bad filming job. He's right there. There he is. Yep. And all the kids around here think Roxy's part of the petting zoo. <laughs> She's getting lots of love and attention from all the kiddos. Okay, so we were at the petting zoo and the kids were playing with Star and then this little boy decided it'd be a fun idea to just start throwing dirt all over. So. He was filthy, she was filthy, so we're getting to use the outside shower for the first time. It's be nice, so when you're all muddy, you can get cleaned off before you go inside the trailer. But she's getting a little outside bath for the first time. Thursday morning, fourth work day. We're gonna start in here, hi right, Gail. Oh yeah, Gail's been up for about an hour. And then I'm moving outside. It is looking like a beautiful day. The office is closed, but it will soon be open for business. Well, my office woke up with the sunrise, but my desk will be on fire. Okay, we've started on our gas burner oven for the first time. We're gonna make sausage, egg, and cheese, and then stuff them in some croissants. We're gonna bake them. We're gonna bake them. First time cooking inside in our new RV. Woohoo! Living and working on the And then we've been up working today. Thursday night. We leave tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we are breaking down camp. First time we've broke down. So uh, it's going together pretty good. Just got the uh, sewer hose undone. And uh, got some of the chairs put in here. So uh, we'll have a campfire tonight. We'll be all packed up for the most part. And we'll be out of here tomorrow 8 a.m. All right, we're 90% done. We'll do the rest of the morning. We are on electricity, but nothing else. And we will be ready to go. And the trailer is packed nicely. It's really worked out good.